Hey comic book community, Longbox Love Affair here. I am in New Jersey doing some comic book shopping. I am visiting my mother-in-law and I'm about to go to Zaps Comics, ANS Comics, and Joker's Child. So uh, right here, we got Joker's Child. This is actually my second stop of the day. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I picked up, a little bit of pictures, and uh, go from there. Enjoy. So I am back, back with some loot. Uh, I have to say though, Joker's Child was closed. So I did not get anything at Joker's Child. I did not go back. I could have waited an extra 45, 50 minutes, but I decided to maximize my time out and about and go to a couple of other shops. I also went to A&S Comics in Teaneck, New Jersey. That was also a bust for me. They had a lot of older comics, comics on top of comics. It was hard to look. Uh, they have a new store. They expanded their store. The, the layout is interesting. Uh, it's still a little cluttered. Uh, didn't have things at the price I wanted. They had a lot of older comics, but they were beat. A lot of them were beat. They had some great wall books, uh, and I just didn't see anything I needed for the price that they were asking. So I respectfully passed and went to a store that just popped up on Yelp. Uh, they've been around for, for ages, apparently, but I never checked them out while I was in town. So this store was called 21st Century Music and Collectibles. So I looked on Yelp. There were pictures of comic boxes upon comic boxes. It is a collectible store, and I, I drove to it. It wasn't too far from a &S. So it was actually inside of... A, like a building complex, like a, it had extra space storage or, or one of the storage companies was there. Uh, there was a pot dispensary around the corner. So there were people like sh shepherding traffic. It was chaotic. I had no idea where it was. I had to call the guy to tell me how to find this location. So it was very difficult. So I'm sure that adds to uh, how people find them, I guess. I don't know. I had a hard time. So they had bins, everything unmarked was $5, and then uh, other things pr were priced randomly. So uh, I did pick up one book that was in a case. They had a wall, you know, so they had records, they had old uh, record equipment, and uh, they had like a Star Starship Enterprise uh, that was put together that they were asking money for. So I really just focused on comics and I went through every bin. So, uh, the only thing I bought in the case that you had to specifically have someone help you out and look into uh, was the Spidey number one. I've been looking for this book for a minute. Uh, this is a really nice copy. It has a little bit of a spine roll. Uh, that's okay. I've rebagged everything, which I don't usually do, but I, I did in this case. The asking price was 50 bucks, but because I was buying a whole bunch of other things, they knocked this down to... In the end, it came to about twenty five dollars, twenty to twenty five, twenty five to twenty nine dollars. So that was a really good deal for a really solid copy. It's complete. It's attached. Uh, just a really nice book that I don't see a whole lot. So I was excited to pick this up for a really great deal once I packaged it with everything. But like I said, it was fifty dollars originally, and I got them to uh, give me a discount. They actually offered to give me a discount, so I appreciated that. The rest of these books I picked up, uh, most of them were $5. There were uh, just a few that were 8 or $10, but most of these were $5. Cumulatively, I spent about $149 at this shop, including the Spidey. So I think that was a really great deal. There were a whole lot of other books I left that I just didn't pick up. Uh, some because of condition, others just because they were not keys and I didn't really want to spend $5 on it. But... They, were, they had a lot of Bronze Age, uh, Copper Age, Avengers, Fantastic Fours, and so forth. But they really had, I was surprised they had this, Fantastic Four 122. And this might have been one of the ones that was five bucks. It's an early Galactus, early Silver Surfer. I'm not sure I own this particular book. So a really nice, uh, I guess this would still be Silver Age maybe bronze age cover. It's got the, 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 the black box there for that, that Marvel did a lot of. You see that in Ghost Rider number one, for instance, or Marvel Spotlight number five. So 122. Also picked up some other Fantastic Four keys. So Fantastic Four 
200 for five bucks. This is sort of an iconic cover. Picked up 208. Sphinx appearance. I love uh, this character. It doesn't get used a whole lot. And this bad boy was $8. Also, $8 was fantastic for 210. Great Galactus cover. $5. Fantastic for 212. Galactus versus the Sphinx. And these are all part of the Terax storyline where Terax became a uh, herald of Galactus. Also picked up Avengers 103. This has always been on my hot hunt list just because I think the cover is cool. Classic old Avengers book. Uh, Sentinels on the cover. Got some spine ticks, but for five bucks, for five bucks, I couldn't leave this behind. Mighty Avengers 246. This is the mother of Monica Rambeau. I think it's Maria Rambeau's first appearance, if I'm getting the... They're both MRs in terms of initials, so that makes it uh, difficult to remember. But uh, 246. Avengers Forever number three. Uh, I love this book because it does have some first appearances, but it has the infinity thing in this book. And I love that character design. There's something about it that I really enjoy. So if I was ever to meet Aaron Cooter at a convention, I want an Infinity Thing sketch. I was surprised to find Young Avengers 5 and 10 here. So first, Kate Bishop as Hawkeye on the cover in that costume. And she's also previewed here on the cover. So that's a pretty cool thing. For 378 Bought this for five bucks. I found this at A&S for ten dollars and I've seen it elsewhere for ten to fifteen so I was like I'll pick it up for five uh this first appearance of Thor's armor suit just really cool Walt S Simonson cover I was surprised to find Mighty Thor 411 the first appearance the cameo of New Warriors this is that 90s team I love that book it was hot 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 when they first came out and this book still fetches some money this is a really nice copy so I was really surprised to find this in the bins for five bucks. Uncanny X-Men 377 variant cover. Is this the variant cover? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a connecting cover to a corresponding X-Men book. Cool book to have. I love Apocalypse. I think this might be Lanil Yu artwork. I could be wrong. Also, Uncanny X-Men 451. This is the first, uh, this is the second issue of uh, X-23's intro to the team of X-Men. Also picked up uh, Uncanny 467, an iconic Psylocke cover by Chris Bacallo. Surprised to find this in the bins for five bucks. Miles Morales, Spider-Man number five. This is the intro to Starling, his love interest, uh, the, and who is also the granddaughter of Adrian Toomes, the Vulture. So first print, five bucks, excellent condition. Uh, this was actually the first book I found and it sort of um, whet my appetite to hunt some more. We got X-23's miniseries, the first print, and the second print. Uh, and I realized how much I just do not like the artwork. Um, Philip Tan did the cover here. Uh, or I'm sorry, Billy, Billy Tan. Billy Tan. And looking inside, I'm just not a fan of this, this, this artwork. I remember liking it at the time, uh, but it has since fallen from grace in my opinion. And then the last book I picked up was X-Men Deadly Genesis number one. They had the two other variant covers there, but this number one, this Mark Silvestri um, cover, the main cover, seems to be the one that fetches some dollars. And it is also uh, the better condition of the other two that I found. So I decided to pick this one up. Uh, didn't want to go on a huge spending spree and I needed to get back. So, so that was this uh, record and collectible store. But I also went to Zapp's Comics, which is one of my favorite comic book stores ever. Uh, they, um, they have a lot of stuff on the wall. They have a great rotating selection. I follow them on Instagram. Just a really great place to peruse, but it is hit or miss. You never know what you're gonna find. So I saw an Avengers number one, 2.0. Their price was a little high and it was water damage and it had rusting and it was in the slab. So. Uh, definitely verified by CGC, so I passed on it. It was a little high, so I think I could find that book elsewhere. I do not have Avengers number one, and I wasn't expecting to spend $2,200 uh, on Sunday. Instead, I picked up a couple books, one for my buddy Sean, uh, so 
Uh, make sure you follow Sean Queer Tea Comics on YouTube and Instagram. But uh, I picked up this Marvel Point One first Kamala Khan uh, issue. Really nice condition. Uh, and it has no color breaks. It just had a little bit of um, flaking on the on the side here. Um, so I picked that up for him. And then I picked up for myself Amazing Spider-Man 503 for three bucks. This is the uh, spec buy of uh, Loki's daughter, I think. Uh, also picked up Fantastic Four Ace Edition. This is the first appearance of Galactus with the reprint. Picked that up. And the, as well as the Unknown Comics variant to Venom number one from the Donny Cates run. Uh, I love this cover. This is a, a second print variant cover that Unknown did. I do not love Unknown Comics um, for a variety of reasons, uh, but uh, this is a, a rockin' Ryan Stegman cover. Nice condition. It could be one to get sketched on or signed at some point. And then last but not least, I picked up World Tree or World 3, or however you want to say it. Uh, the third print, I picked up two copies they had on the rack for cover price, and then my LCS had one left as well, so I have three of these. Uh, this was a book that was on the hot list for a moment, and uh, for a week, uh, a week ago, and it was low print run or what have you. So uh, I figured if I can find it for cover price, I will pick it up. And so I did. Uh, I've been reading the first two issues. I just picked up issue number three. I'm trying to figure out if I like the series or not. So um, let me know what you think about that. Uh, and let me know what you think about this haul. Thanks for watching. You got through it. Uh, and uh, just some exciting buys I found. Uh, I can put these books away now that I've shown them on this video. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.